Heavenly Father, as you know, life ain't easy for us, but we know you're always there watching over us. And we want to thank you for sending our new friends, Mr. Monk, Natalie, and Julie, into our lives. And may we remember our brothers and sisters, less fortunate than ourselves, in this season of giving. Amen. 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 Mm. <laughs> mm, I'm good. Mm. This stuffing is delicious. Mm. Oh, thank you. It's my grandmother's recipe. Mm, I love this gravy. Mm. Uh, usually we make our own, but. Excuse me? Uh, could you repeat that about the gravy? Mm. Usually we make our own. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Natalie, did you hear that? Yes. Yes, I did. Huh. Interesting. Um, why do they call you the professor? Julie. It's probably because he loves to read and probably because he's curious about the world and other cultures and... I eat books. Excuse me. I'm just using my napkin to wipe away any food that might be on my face. I'm just wiping my face. It's fun. So, uh, how's our case coming? Uh, actually, uh, there's been some progress there. The medical examiner changed the cause of death. It wasn't an accident, after all. Your friend was asphyxiated. He was drunk? No, no. No, no, he, he, he was suffocated, probably with a plastic bag. It's good news, actually, because now they'll reopen the case. Well, thank you for that, Mr. Monk. I mean, we really appreciate that. It's the best 14 bucks we ever spent. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Speaking of money, uh, it wasn't exactly $14. Uh, you were a little short. Yeah, this, uh, they wouldn't redeem these three bottles because they are from, guess where, Canada. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's no big deal. It's 15 cents. It's hardly worth mentioning, but. Chalk extract. Okay, Randy, have you seen the captain? We've been calling him all night. Yeah, he's not here. Why? What's going on? You remember the homicide I was working? A yeah, homeless guy. Right. His name was Willie T. The night he was killed, he was out collecting bottles and cans. Yeah, okay, remember that chalky herbal stuff the captain was drinking? There were three bottles of the same drink in Willie's shopping cart, which means that at some point that night, he was in the captain's yard, right? Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, maybe the captain saw something. I mean, something unusual. What is that? What? On your face, on, on, your, on your lip. Looks a little bit like a mustache. Well, I'm in charge. It comes with a job. OK, you're making me a little uncomfortable. You're making me a little uncomfortable. You, you, anyways, guys, the captain's gone. You're. You're too late. He came in yesterday, he grabbed some stuff, and he just left. For how long? She didn't say.
Ricky. He killed Willie T. Get in secular, secular. Here's what happened. Klauski killed his partner and buried him here. Nine years later, planning to renovate, body would be discovered. He couldn't dig up the body. They had built a fountain there. He had to stop them from digging. He started changing their prescriptions to make his patients sicker. That's why you never got better. He did it to everyone. He painted that sign on your door. Willie the bomb must have seen him. That's why McCloskey killed him. So he was messing with everybody's medication, making us all sicker. And then he sent us to that fountain. That's it? So after we drank, he'd give us some real medication, <laughs> making us all feel better. And it worked. The fountain became a shrine, a sacred place. Yeah, which, of course, they would never dig up. Well, so much for miracles. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle.